Hey everybody, my name is Steph. Should you learn WordPress in 2017? Well, it comes down to A, if you want to do the work, meaning you're interested in actually working with WordPress, and two, depending on the demand in your area, the demand for WordPress developers. So let me just say, given the market today in 2017, the demand for WordPress developers is probably very, very high. Why is that the case? Well, 30% of the world's websites, approximately, are run on WordPress. Now, if you focus in on small businesses, I bet you that percentage is much higher. So what I mean by that is that the percentage of small businesses who have their, wor who have their websites built on WordPress is probably very, very high probably much higher than 30%. WordPress development, or I hate, I was about to say WordPress web development, and I guess it is, but WordPress development is, I'm gonna define what that is in two seconds here. WordPress development is a great choice for people who wanna get into freelance work because there are so many small and medium-sized businesses whose sites are actually based on WordPress. And this is significant because the small and the medium-sized businesses are going to be the people who will hire a freelance developer. One of the big advantages of using WordPress as your primary platform for website development and basic web app development is that it's an established platform. And when you have established platforms, basically it's an app that makes it easy for you to deploy particular types of sites that WordPress is good at, information-rich sites. Because it's an established platform, you will be able to create an optimized workflow, meaning once you really get your hands or your head wrapped around how WordPress works and how WordPress should be deployed and so forth, you will be able to create this optimized workflow which will allow you to make a lot more money for your time as you get better and better and better and better at it. To get your head wrapped around WordPress, you have to learn a few things. First of all, you have to learn how to install and configure WordPress. Those are the basics. You should understand the different ways you secure WordPress, good conventions in terms of the user levels and so forth, and the basic operations of the app. You should also get into themes. You should understand how themes are installed, deployed. And to take it to the highest level, you should understand how to create themes in WordPress. This is probably the hardest part about working with WordPress. It's just understanding the whole theme structure. There's a very particular structure to it. You should understand theme providers. You should know who the theme companies are out there. So let's say a client comes to you and they want to put up their small business website. You should understand all the theme options that are out there, free and paid, so that you can look at the project and say, okay, this paid theme here from this provider would be the best choice, or this free theme here that we can build off of, off of would be a great choice. All this plays into your uh, skills as a WordPress developer. So it's much more about understanding code. It's much more than understanding the basic app. It's understanding the whole WordPress ecosystem. You understand the theme providers. You understand all the plugin providers. You understand how to secure WordPress, how to set up WordPress properly, depending on the type of business structure that uh, the client comes to you with. These are all factored into being a WordPress developer. In addition to that, you have to understand the basics of coding, of course. Now, WordPress is created with HTML, CSS, some JavaScript, and PHP. So you have to be really comfortable with your HTML and CSS. You should know at least the basics of JavaScript and probably jQuery, the basics. And you should know the basics of PHP and something called CRUD operations. CRUD operations are basically using PHP to talk to databases. CRUD is short for create, read, update, and delete. These are the basic commands that you can execute with PHP against a database. Again, you don't have to be a master PHP developer or a JavaScript developer. You just have to know your way around the basics because WordPress is created with these languages. And so I would say 
as a WordPress developer, you don't need to be a full-fledged app, PHP app developer, or full-fledged JavaScript app developer. You need to be a PHP coder or scripter, a JavaScript coder or scripter. What that means is that you're comfortable using the languages, but you're not necessarily somebody that's going to be building apps from scratch with these languages. Knowing these four languages, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, will really allow you to take full advantage of WordPress as a platform so you can deliver customizations to your clients. So the big advantage with WordPress in 2017 is that it is not considered a sexy platform to work with. A lot of developers just don't like WordPress because it's got its uh, problems, its idiosyncrasies. I think that's the right word. And because of that, a lot of developers, they don't want to work with WordPress. And that gives you a huge opportunity because there's such a huge demand since, as I said before, about 30% of the world's websites are run on WordPress. And uh, I bet you a very high percentage, a much higher percentage of small businesses in the world are based on WordPress. So if you're one of those WordPress professionals that has the skills that I talked about, the basic coding skills, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, understanding how to build themes and mod modify themes in WordPress, understanding the uh, the ecosystem around WordPress. So you understand the theme providers, the you know, free themes. You understand the plugins that are out there. You understand the security threats and how to secure and set up WordPress. This is very important because you know all this stuff. If you have that, you bring that to the table, and then what you'll be able to do is create an optimized workflow. And an optimized workflow allow you to get things done at a hyper-productive rate so that you'll be much more competitive in the marketplace. And in the end, you'll be making a lot more money than you would expect. Yeah, so there's much more I could talk about that. But in this vlog, I'm not going to get into all the details here. So yes, to conclude, WordPress can be an extremely valuable skill set to have if a, you want to work with WordPress, because some people just don't want to. B, especially if you want to be a freelancer, being a WordPress developer or a WordPress professional will get you in the door with so many small businesses that are desperately looking for WordPress professionals to do their work. It's a great platform to get into in terms of the financial rewards. And some people out there, they may not want to become from scratch developers. It's a totally different game. Maybe they want to develop a strong business, a consulting business based on WordPress, where you're dealing with many small and medium-sized companies who are desperately looking for professional WordPress developers. And I tell you what, in terms of business, you're much better off to have 10 small clients than two big clients. Because having 10 small clients means that if you get into an argument with one of the clients, you can fire the client and you have, because you know you have nine other clients that you can lean on. But if you only have one or two big clients, uh, they'll know that you're, there are only one or two of your clients and they'll know that they'll have leverage over you. So they're going to try and push you around a bit. So having many small clients is a 10 times better situation uh, as a freelancer it's like having it's like having a diversified stock portfolio where if one company goes down big deal you get nine others so anyway that's it for now i hope you found this vlog useful if you like it you know do the thumbs up if you got any questions feel free to ask questions i do try as best i can to answer any questions that people put in uh in the comment section all right that's it for now Bye bye